Data accuracy is an important concept, and this goes for both the spatial data as well as the attribute data of a layer. The spatial and attribute data can be edited and changed, but what if it's a noted problem in the data? Can we overlook certain points in the data that we know have been captured erroneously? Well, this obviously really depends on the goals of your analysis and your mapping project. We must be aware of the errors that are inherent in the data and the fixes that are provided. In this first task, you'll create a point layer of shipwrecks from a text file containing the XY coordinate values. You'll then assess the accuracy. Here I have QGIS desktop open with the Great Lakes shapefile loaded. And to begin mapping the shipwrecks, I'll click the Add Delimited Text File button. The Create a Layer from a Delimited Text File window opens, and the first thing I need to do is point it to the CSV file containing the coordinates. So I'll click the Browse button and navigate to my Lab 4 data folder, and I'll select the shipwrecks.csv file and click Open. I'm going to select a file format of CSV, and then I see that my data is being parsed. Since the first record has field names, option is checked. I do have my field names showing up. I do want to make sure that the geometry definition is set to point coordinates. And then I need to specify the X and Y coordinate columns. So for the X field, it's called X chord. And for the Y field, Y chord. Once that is all set up, I can click OK. And I get a message up here that the CRS was undefined and it's defaulting to 4326, which in this case is accurate. That is the coordinate reference system of these coordinates. If it was not, I could go into the layer properties for this shipwrecks layer to the general tab and use this browse button to choose the correct coordinate system. But in this case, Q just has assumed correctly. Now I'm going to right click on the layer and choose zoom to layer. And you can see it's supposed to be Great Lake Shipwrecks, and there's one layer far from the others down here in the southeast. So next I'm going to open up the attribute table to investigate the coordinates that were used to map this. And the one point that is very far away from the others, this AC Adams Shipwreck, you can see it's simply that the coordinate values have been misentered. The latitude and longitude are switched. So this is simply a data entry error, and I'll close the attribute table and, and remove the shipwrecks layer for now. And I'll zoom to my previous extent. A couple notes on coordinate data. Another common issue that occurs with coordinate data are rounding errors or truncated coordinates. For example, people may round UTM coordinates to the nearest thousand when working off a USGS topographic map. This may be due to the fact that these maps list the UTM coordinate values every thousand meters. In terms of mapping coordinate data, when creating a point layer from a delimited text file, as I've just done, the coordinates are being mapped just within the QGIS instance. The data are still not in a GIS format, such as a shapefile. To create a permanent GIS layer from mapped coordinates, you'd simply right-click on that layer and save it as a shapefile or other format. So now that I've identified that there's an issue with these coordinates, I'm going to bring up the CSV file in a text editor. I'm using Notepad++ here. Regular Notepad would work just as well. And I'm simply going to cut and paste these coordinates so that they're in the correct column. So now my latitude and longitude are correct. I'm going to save this file and I'll close out of Notepad++. I'm going to reopen the Add Delimited Text Layer window. And I'll click the Browse button and I've I saved that CSV to a new version called Shipwrecks Corrected. I'll select that and click Open. I can see this time it's remembering my file format as a CSV and all the other settings. I just need to specify the X and Y coordinates. And you can see in this preview of the data that all the coordinates are in the correct columns. So I'll click OK. Again we get the CRS message but it's, it's um, guessing correctly and we have all four points mapped and if I zoom to the layer now I can see they all fall along the edge of Lake Superior where they're supposed to be. So the lesson in this task is that you can't take data accuracy for granted. It's your responsibility to discover and fix errors. You simply cannot rely on the software to understand such mistakes. In the next task, we'll take a look at metadata.